Well, welcome back to another Sea of Heroes slash Villains Gameplay Part 23. I'm RobotGZ. Last time I did more missions, fought a lot of enemies, and talked to a few NPCs. So, uh, let's continue. We got some merits. Got well. No, I can't sell my enhancements to him. So, let me go. Let me go to the enhancement store first. Control store. Mm -hmm. Now let's just go to the color master. Oh gosh. Mm, okay, there's a rare printer. Awesome. Two birds with one stone. Uh, inspiration for you. That's like 8,000. Let me see if he has a different type of accuracy that's not. But that's less infamy. That's also 8,000. Okay, so I'm, yeah, so 8,000 is probably the best I can do right now. Yeah. 
you want to and that's all I can do for that. Oh gosh. Do I have single than natural? Yes, I have Interesting. So you do get merits from missions. Okay. Good to know. Alright, so I just did heal. Uh let's see one Defense buff, and that's it. So two defense buff. Oops, uh, natural. Defense buff. Apparently I can't uh, combine it.
Amazing find, Captain Curl. Thanks to the info you've gathered, we now have a clear picture of how Zucor is manipulating the Destined Ones. To be honest, Operation Catball Lane it doesn't tell me anything new, other than the fact that Lombo is completely devoid of original originality. We had already guessed that the, what their new plans were in Cap. Uh, it's essentially the same plan they implemented in Mercy Island. This suggestion engine, though it sounds like it's truly a remarkable device, it appears that it's currently calibrated to Zucor's psych psychic wavelength, so we're not going to be able to charge it ourselves. However, the schematics imply that once the engine is charged, anyone could use it to persuade their targets. I think you know where I'm going with this. I don't actually. Uh, part four, man of the people. Now that's where we're aware of the suggestion engine. I think it's time we made our move. So Kor just recently sent out a summons to all of his cultists to return to the meeting grounds. I'm guessing he's getting ready to support Lombo in the major push towards Aeon City. It's the perfect time to strike, Captain Curl. Zucor trusts you. Thanks to your attack on our outposts, and you're going to need to capitalize on that trust. See if you can get Zucor alone. If you attack him out in the open, you'll have to, uh, uh, you'll have the entire cult bearing down on you at once. If you can manage to get another private meeting, though, Trust me, I know exactly what to do. I'm glad we're on the same page, Captain Curl. The suggestion engine is focused through a single projector, about the size of a pocket watch. Zucor will probably be carrying it on him, as he'll want to have the engine available if he needs to convince anyone on the fly. Once you've taken down Zucor, see if you can acquire that projector. That will let you influence the rest of the cultists. And that's when Lombo plan blows up in their faces. Okay. Eh. <laughs> Wee. Zucor has no clue what you have planned, so with any luck, his cult will have a new leader soon. Okay. They're waiting for you in the back room, Captain Girl. Go in.
Captain Girl, thank you for joining us on short, short notice. And now that everyone is here, we can begin the meeting. Gigwatts, you have the data regarding a, a, our recent incursions. Yes, Baron, of the nine bases we attacked, seven are now completed in non... Uh, uh, non... Uh, uh, non-operational and are serving, uh, currently serving as our out, outposts uh, for Longbow. The two that remain are currently operating with a southern true due to battle casualties. We don't expect heavy interference from them in the near future. Uh, excellent double tap. How prepared are my followers to assist in the upcoming campaign? Uh, uh, most of us were ready for a large scale combat when we joined. I've been working with a few who have trouble working in a group of environments. We've not figured the creation for a unit this size, but I think we'll be able to coordinate our attacks effectively enough. Fair enough. Pyro, what news do, you, uh, do we have of Arachno's reaction to our efforts? Surprisingly, Arachnos has barely reacted at all. I'm a bit suspicious. Normally you expect some degree of counterattack. Plus there are the transmissions I mentioned. Pyra, we have discussed this. I know you are trying to watch for danger. But, but Baron, all of the event evidence points to a, a member of the... I need you to trust me, Pyra. I have, uh, I have personally ensured the loyalty of every member of our organization. Now moving on, Tower Inferno, what forces does Arachnos have remain in the area? The only Arachnos forces that would pose any immediate threat are certain around Aeon City. The rest have been crippled or captured by our early operations. Do you have any recommendation for our next target? I have focused our next attack on the main uh, admis administration building in Aeon. Once that has been taken, the others will not be able to network effectively, which will allow us to take each one individually. Excellent. I believe that we can re adjourn this meeting. Any questions? Okay. <sighs> you look trouble, Captain Curl. Speak your mind. I have a bad feeling that uh, I'm going to immediately attack him and then everybody's going to attack me. Baron, I think we should speak privately. It's rather urgent. Baron, I feel that I must voice my concern in this matter. I do not believe that it is wise to expose yourself to possible attempts. Sir Zokur pauses to hear Pyra's entreaty, but soon cuts her off angrily. Pyra, for the last time, I will not have you showing doubt amongst my followers. I have spoken with each of you, I am, and I am quite confident in the loyalty of everyone in this room. Zokur turns to face you. We can meet in private, Captain Curl, but this must be brief. We still have much to do. I promise it will not take long. You're all dismissed. I will send for each of you at the appropriate time. Come, Captain Curl. Here we are, Captain Curl. Now, why is it so important that it could not be heard by the rest of my council? I want to talk to you with you about this suggestion engine. The device in your ear immediately begins buzzing madly, almost painfully. Zokur is staring at you intently. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about, Captain Kuro. How can you be sure that such a thing even exists? Uh, so, does something like that help convince you, or is that just how you're talking about it? Um... Uh, oh, I'm sure I'll be using it myself soon enough. Uh, Zokur remains silent, green his teeth. After a moment, he speaks in a low, calm tone. 
It is clear that my suggestions are not diverting you. For whatever reason, perhaps a more direct approach will make you more effective. I doubt it, but you're welcome to try. Not the other thing. No, this should not be happening. Uh, it's your true Zerko seems to find the small zip to uh, uh, with Zoker out of the way you should be able to use suggestion and enter without interference. In order to test the moment's wave layer's guidance, it's time to, to take a range here for yourself. Uh, Captain Kurt, we have a problem. I just sit into front uh of the furry bumper calm traffic uh they appear to be mobilizing for assault of some kind, I'm not sure the target has the main grounds where I am say. Game control of the calls as soon as you can. Right now they are the only for a stop long Let me see if they oh, they do. Okay. Oops. Not so fast, Captain Crow. Where's the Baron? What have you done with him? I knew you were not to be trusted. Oh, not again. Yeah, I need to find that. Guru, what are you doing here? Are you gonna... Okay, just want to make sure. Speak with Marshall Gloom, alright. What's going on? Where's the Baron? Uh, I'll explain soon, but I need to speak with everyone. Uh, Marshal Gloom's bro furrows in suspicion, but he quickly relents. The suggestion engine must be already working on him. Yes, yes, I can see what you, that you do. Please, by all means, Captain Kuro, the podium is all yours. Much appreciated. As you approach the podium, uh, your audience looks up at you, confused. The suggestion engine should be enough to convince these people to do what you wish. But you still have to give a speech in order for it to work. You should probably begin with what's already on everyone's mind. Where is Baron Zokur? Um... Lombo assassinated him. The podium projects your voice, causing it to reverberate off the walls uh, of the room. You warn your fellow decimals that a great tragedy has befallen their cause. You tell them that Baron Zokur has been killed by one of their own. You accuse 
Pyra, uh, one of the Baron's trusted lieutenants of working as a spy for Rombo. You claimed that, uh, on their orders, she assassinated the Baron before you had a chance to stop her. You state that Pyra has been dealt with, but I acknowledge that all of you suffer from the loss of your leader. You state that, in honor of his memory and his deeds, you will lead them in the Baron's stead, and claim that is that is what he would want. Now would be a good time to talk about what to do next. Uh, uh, you're all villains and you should wake up and start acting like it. You declare to your fellow destined ones that well, you all have da dabbled in heroes and deep down you all know that you are not heroes. Remind them that there are in rogue isles, where they, uh, the only law is survival of the fist. You point to the crowd and cry that you all, all, all are the few who stand tall above the rest, who refuse to bow to anyone, not Ragnos and not Lombo. You shout that you have fought tooth and nail to achieve dominance over your enemies, and you will continue to this, uh, you you will continue to fight. You declare that you will bring Lombo to their knees and show them that no one, no one messes with the villains of the royal gods. It's about to, it's about time to wrap up this speech. Uh, time for your final statement or an attack on the main Lombo base. You declared that now is the time to bring the, the fight to Lombo. You, you relate how, how soon you will march upon their base, slay their commander, and slaughter their soldiers. You instruct them uh, that this will be a long, uh, a day long remembered. You remind them that each of them has been wronged, and it is time for them to repay Lombo for what they have done. Uh, you point down into the crowd at double tap. You are in to rally your fires and prepare for an assault on Lombo's headquarters. You then tell the crowd that you will join them shortly, at which point the assault will begin. Okay. Uh, no. <laughs> you don't see me. I'm self. Ah, okay. Oops, I'll just keep that going. I would yeah, I would miss your speech through the network, Captain Curl. Good work. You seem to have them all marching to your tone, uh, tune. If we're going to stop Lombo in time, we're going to need to move quickly. Also, that will tap the coordinates for the main base. But you'll probably want to present to direct the assault. We still don't know how much about the suggestion device, and we can't be sure that its effects will last long to keep the destined ones following your orders. At the very least, your presence there will make them more likely to remain a cohesive force. Uh, I wouldn't want to miss this anyway. I'm glad to hear it, Captain Curl. You've got the advantage now. Ruin chuckles softly to himself. <laughs> I don't think Lombo stands a chance. I have to agree. Okay. 
uh, uh, part five, journal for a day. Your army has been in position, Captain Curl. They're waiting for your arrival before they commence the main offensive. I assume you will be leading the attack. That's my plan. Good luck, Captain Curl. I should warn you, the force that Lombo has gathered is substantial. Even with an army at your back, they may be able to put up a bit of fights. I'm not especially worried. I know your confidence. I'm just warning you not to underestimate them. This one wants even those thoughts you may be difficult to control. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Unfortunately, that is going to be it for now. So, to next time to save Hero slash Villains gameplay parts 24. This is Robot GZ signing off. Bye.